When it comes to stolen and buried treasure stories, not many places come as close as California. After all, it was California that saw the largest gold rush ever, way back in 1848, when tens of thousands of hopeful miners and prospectors came west. It was the chance of a lifetime to seek your fame and hopefully make your fortune. Along with all those fortune seekers came the merchants and the gamblers, along with some of the more unsavory types, like gunfighters and bandits. In this video, we're going to take a look at five stories about lost and stolen buried treasures in California. Now, no one can really say for certain that these stories are 100% true or not, but stick around to the end and you will hear about one treasure that actually was found not that long ago, and it was worth an absolute fortune. Treasure number one. Richard Barter, better known as Rattlesnake Dick, was a notorious outlaw who roamed Northern California during the Gold Rush era. He and his gang would steal anything from horses to mules all the way up to robbing stages. In 1856, the gang robbed a large shipment of gold from miners in the Rattlesnake Bar region. Though the robbery was mostly successful, Barter and his men were soon pursued by law enforcement. As the chase intensified, Rattlesnake Dick decided to hide half of the stolen loot in the hills near Auburn. It is said that there was around $40,000 worth of gold. A posse eventually captured the gang and retrieved the gold the gang was still carrying. Barter was shot and killed by a posse in another robbery years later and never was able to go back to the same area to where the other half of the gold was buried. Despite numerous searches, this buried gold has never been found and treasure hunters still comb the hills around Auburn, hoping to uncover this lost fortune. Treasure number two. Bodie, now a famous ghost town, was once a booming mining settlement in the late 1800s. This was a town that was well known as being one of the most lawless towns in the state. Being out in the middle of nowhere, this was a town full of drinking, gambling, shootings, and brothels. Because of this everyday crime, many residents buried their valuables, including gold, to safeguard them from thieves and, of course, the constant threat of fires. One particular tale involves a wealthy saloon owner who reportedly buried a fortune in gold coins and gold bars somewhere in the hills just outside of town, intending to retrieve it later. Before he could return to dig up his treasure, the saloon owner died under mysterious circumstances. While the exact location was never revealed, many believe that the buried gold still lies hidden in the rugged terrain outside the old town site waiting to be discovered. Treasure number three. In the 1850s, the town of San Andreas was a hot spot for miners looking to strike it rich. It was at this time that a group of Mexican miners discovered a rich patch of gold in a nearby canyon. Fearing theft from the many lawless gangs roaming the area, they buried the gold near a large oak tree to keep it safe. However, before they could retrieve it, they were ambushed and killed by bandits. The exact location of the oak tree has since been lost to time, and despite numerous efforts to locate the treasure, no one has uncovered this buried gold. Many believe that it still lies somewhere in the hills surrounding San Andreas. On an added side note, there is supposed to be a large arrow-shaped rock that is pointed on the top that is close by. Treasure number four. Now this is a story that can make you really wonder. I have read a few different versions of this story, so I am not really sure which version is totally correct, but I'm going to give you a couple of the versions here and let you, the listener, decide. In 1857, a prospector named George Yunt discovered a rich vein of gold in the Sierra Nevada mountains on a small creek that ran into the Kern River. George was well known for cooking his meals in a large Dutch oven, which he always carried with him, earning him the nickname Dutch Oven. After mining out a considerable amount of gold from the mine, George buried a healthy stash of his treasure somewhere near his camp, fearing theft from rival prospectors. George later fell ill and died in a nearby mine camp, never to return to his buried gold. 
For years, treasure hunters have scoured the area near the Kern River, hoping to find Yunt's lost gold stash, but to this very day, it remains undiscovered. Now the second version of the lost Dutch oven goes like this. A man by the name of Tom Schofield was out doing some prospecting in the Clipper Mountains when he came across a spring. Near the spring was a sign of an old foot trail. Tom followed the trail to where it led into what looked like an old Spanish camp. While walking around this abandoned campsite, he tripped over what would be the lid of an old rusted-out Dutch oven. Inside of this old Dutch oven, he found it to be plump full of gold nuggets. There was so much gold that he couldn't carry it all, so he filled all of his pockets and then buried the rest. Once he got back to town, he was quick to celebrate his find. However, when he returned into the Clipper Mountains to get more gold, he couldn't find the camp spot again. In fact, he couldn't even find the trail. Others have searched for this mine, but no one to this day has found the remaining gold that is hid in that old Dutch oven. Treasure number five. This story is one of California's most famous treasure stories, with searchers who even today continue to brave the harsh desert conditions in the hope of striking it rich. Thomas Pegleg Smith was a mountain man and prospector who roamed the deserts of Southern California in the early 1800s. According to legend, while traveling across the Borrego Desert, Pegleg came across a cluster of gold nuggets scattered across the ground. These gold nuggets were different as they had a black tint to them and were the size of softballs. Being way out in the desert with limited supplies and water, Old Pegleg buried most of these nuggets and then made a mental note of where the location was. However, being weighed down with this extra weight, he became exhausted and disoriented on his way to camp and even though he returned several times after, he never found the site again. Over the years, many have tried to retrace Pegleg's steps and locate this mysterious desert treasure. There have been folks who have witnessed these black-tinted gold nuggets for themselves to authenticate and would acknowledge that old Pegleg actually did have the gold. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was going to tell you about one treasure that was actually found. This treasure was found totally by accident in 2013 and is known as the, the Saddle Ridge Hoard. This treasure was found by a couple who were just out on a walk on their property in Northern California. While walking along a narrow, overgrown trail, they noticed a rusty can sticking out of the ground. Digging the can out of the ground, they discovered a collection of 1,427 rare gold coins buried in several other metal cans. The coins were all gold from 1847 to 1894 and were in immaculate condition. This cache of coins was valued at an estimated $10 million and would be even more valuable today. Though the origin of the hoard remains a mystery, some believe it could have been stolen or hidden by someone during California's gold rush era. One double eagle coin minted in 1866 is valued at $1 million alone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short story about the five lost treasures in California. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more old lost mine stories.